Do you know about my app? It is Neela Bakore Tutorials. On this, I'm conducting live interactive classes with doubt solving sessions and DPPs. The link is given in the description below. So don't forget to download. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. In this part, we'll talk about helminth diseases. Now, when we use the word helminth, they can belong to platyhelminth or aschihelminth. So we will take example from both. One is uh, tinea solium, which is in platyhelminth. And the disease called is, uh, the disease which is caused is called teniasis. And it is caused by tinea solium. This uh, commonly is known as ape worm. Ape worm. And the reason is, because it is uh, in platyhelminth and platyhelminths are flat, very thin, paper-like. And it is a long ribbon-like uh, organism. So it is flat and that is why it looks like the measuring tape, very thin. And that is why it is commonly known as tapeworm. It is digenetic. That means it completes its life cycle in two hosts. One is human and other is pig and that is why it is also known as pork tapeworm. So it completes its life cycle in a pig and in pig it is in the cyst form and that cyst remains in the pork. Pork is the meat of pig. So people who eat improperly cooked pork, the cyst enters into our body and again it develops into the tapeworm or that complete helminth. In case of teniasis, there is abdominal pain symptoms if we talk of. Symptoms include abdominal pain, blood loss, blood loss in fecal matter and even after the person uh, eats sufficient food then also the weight gain is not proper because all that nourishment which we absorb is taken by the pathogen or the endoparasite. So there is low weight. So these are common symptoms of teniasis, tapeworm tinea solium. And this will enter into our body only if we eat pork. There are various species of tinea and they can be like uh, completing the life cycle in human and uh, buffalo or cow. So then that is if people eat beef, then only that uh, type or that species of tapeworm would enter into the body. The second one which is from Askehelminth is Ascaris, which is commonly known as roundworm. And the disease is known as Ascariasis. Uh, this Ascaris, which is called the round worm, it belongs to Ascihelminthes or Nematihelminthes. And this is the first phylum where they show sexual dimorphism. So detail of Ascaris we study in animal kingdom. But here we need to just understand what is the disease uh, known as and what happens. Again, it is an endoparasite. So it keeps absorbing the nourishment from our body. So less weight, reduced weight, uh, indigestion, pain in uh, abdominal area. These are the common symptoms. And the third pathogen 
is commonly known as filaria worm and the disease caused is elephantiasis. It is also known as filariasis. The causative agent is filaria worm which is scientifically known as Vukereria bancrofti. This is one species and other is Vukereria malai. This is another species. Now they can be found anywhere in our body but the most common area where the filaria worm is found is in lymphatic vessel. Now if it is in lymphatic vessel then that lymphatic vessel is going to get blocked and we know that if this is the capillary from the capillary plasma gets filtered and this lymph which is formed gets accumulated in the tissue. Now this lymph is ultimately poured into the main circulation by the lymphatic vessel. So the lymphatic vessel is going to take this lymph and ultimately pour it into the blood vessel. But if the worm is here, the filaria worm is here, then it is going to block that lymphatic vessel. So that fluid which is accumulating here is not going to get back into our main circulation. Because of this fluid accumulating here, there will be swelling in that body part. So there is accumulation of lymph in tissues and this results into swelling. Normally it is due to uh, or rather it is in the lower body parts. In lower body parts, especially the legs. And if there is swelling in this leg because of accumulation of the fluid, then the leg swells and it becomes like the elephant's leg. And that is why the disease is called elephantiasis. And this spreads through the bite of mosquito. especially the Adis variety. So these are three important uh, helminths. There are many more, but we have to talk about few important ones. So when we use the word helminth, we are talking about two phylums together, platy helminth and SK helminth or platy and nematy helminth. Tapeworm is in platy helminth and uh, Ascaris and uh, Vukereria. It, they are in nematy helminth. So they can be termed as nematodes. But together, when we talk about all these worms, they are placed or they are termed as helminths. And the diseases which are called are called the helminth diseases. All these are endoparasites. So whenever an endoparasite is there in our body, then because it keeps absorbing the nourishment from our body, there is definitely loss of weight. And because of loss of weight, there can be other complications also. So these are three helminth diseases. Now in the next part, we will talk about few more diseases.